Okay? So, let's take an example of how we can predict this. We want to rank from highest to lowest the vapor pressures at 25 degrees Celsius for these four molecules. And I'm going to draw them out, at least these three right here. I'm going to draw loose Scott structures for them. This right here. This is called uh, one butanol. This is an, an alcohol, which is a classification organic chemistry. Um, there's a lot of alcohols, only one or two are safe to consume. The rest are not good for you. This is one of those. Um, but as you see, this is a polar molecule here. You've got oxygen, which is a very electronegative element. The second highest electronegativity number of all the elements, remember, goes from upper right-hand portion of the periodic chart, not counting the um, noble gases, and then it works at a diagonal down from that. And so this is, this is like number two tied with uh, chlorine. So this is polar. Okay? This one right here, this is called methanol. And that looks like this. That's methanol. And um, as you can see, this is also polar because of that oxygen. Okay? The next one is what we call butane. This is the, the, uh, the liquid that we find in cigarette lighters. got hydrogens all around here. And you'll note, as I'm putting these hydrogens in there, that there's no electronegative element in this at all. So this is nonpolar. And then finally, the last one is KOH. Now this has got an OH like this right here, but this, remember, has a metal. That makes this ionic. And from what we talked about in acids and bases, this is a strong base. This is one of those nine strong bases that we have. So this is a solid structure. So this is going to be uh, one of those um, structures that have uh, groups of ions, potassium and hydroxide ions, alternating and uh, bonding to other ionically uh, minded atoms or um, polyatomic ions as well. So, let me put that down here as KOH, and this is ionic. So, this is the strongest. This is the weakest of the intermolecular bonds. And these two are in the middle. Somewhere between weak, nonpolar, and strong ionic. So now we are being asked to rank these from highest vapor pressure to lowest vapor pressure. Now remember, it's an inverse relationship with strength and um, amount of vapor pressure. So the lowest strength would be the weakest strength will have the highest vapor pressure. So this is the lowest, or the weakest, so this is number one in vapor pressure. Okay? This is the strongest, so this is the lowest of them, so this is number four of the four um, compounds that we have here in vapor pressure. And that leaves these two right here. Now they're both polar, but they're not ionic. They're strong, but not as strong as the ionic. So the only difference between these is size. This has, is a much bigger molecule. This has four carbons. That's kind of how we look at this. We look at the number of carbons. It's got four carbons. This has one carbon. No, no apostrophe S there. Anyway. Um, 
the one carbon there. And uh, since this is smaller, this is going to have the higher vapor pressure. So this is number two in vapor pressure. And that makes this then number three in vapor pressure. And that's how we go about doing that. So uh, you don't necessarily have to draw the Lewis style structures out. I find that it helps. Um, so, but you may be able to inherently see all the pattern here, and that's great if you do. So, uh, go ahead and do the practice problems involved in this, and uh, have fun. <laughs>